Good evening. It is five o'clock and we are going behind the gates at Camp Atterbury. This is something 13 News has been asking to do for weeks to see how the Afghan people are adapting to life here in Indiana. Right now, there's a pretty big community there. There's about 7,000 Afghans living here in Indiana at Camp Atterbury, which is in Johnson County, south of Indianapolis. And this is all part of their resettlement process. And we were there as the first group of Afghans arrived in Edinburgh about six weeks ago. So far, a few hundred have already left this base for permanent homes across the U.S. Rich Nye went inside today to see the living conditions and the process for those who escaped their homeland with almost nothing. The Department of Homeland Security allowed the media inside Camp Atterbury for the first time since thousands of Afghans made this their temporary home. We got an up-close look at Operation Allies Welcome and talked to some of the people waiting for their opportunity to begin a new life in the United States. About 6,700 Afghans are staying at Camp Atterbury. Most have lived there for over a month, but another bus arrived Thursday morning with new people to process through intake, medical screening, and resettlement. Children are everywhere. About 40% of the population is 14 years old and younger. The average family includes about seven people. Women and children live together, separate from men's dorms, but families live on the same blocks. About 20,000 meals are served every day in two dining halls. The Army and local volunteers are teaching English and American culture classes. The base has been very good, very generous. I think we have um, uh, everything in abundance. Uh, it's from good food to supplies, uh, a lot of open spaces for sports and children. About 330 Afghans have received clearance to leave Camp Atterbury. The rest are being helped through the process of receiving work authorizations and humanitarian parole for two years while they complete the immigration process. 